You're listening to the Major Pod Network, the only place where your favorite toy store, bar, arcade, and arena are all on the same block. Scratch that major itch. Welcome, everyone, to episode 32 of MC. True Long Island story. I am your host, always ready, the internet champion and the GCW universal champion, Matt Cardona. I'm also here, producer of the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire. We got a doozy today. I have so many questions. I think this is an all time uh, Z True Long Island story episode. Well, just when I thought you couldn't do any more, you add an all time segment. So there's like a couple this, of great things this in this This was a great one for so many reasons. Uh, let's get some housekeeping out of the way. Big weekend for me coming up tonight. Well, not tonight. Tomorrow, Friday, GCW. Daddy is coming home. I have a huge announcement. Um, no, I am not suing Brett Lauderdale for this piece of glass mm. that was just removed from my back. We talked about it. We talked, we talked about, about it on the... Well, we talked about suing him, but we decided not to. Yeah, we talked about this. Uh, this piece of glass has been in my back for over two months. <laughs> I knew something just wasn't right. First of all, the nurse they had there, uh, she stitched me up, said they were dissolvable stitches. They were not. I got infected. I needed to be on antibiotics. Uh, Brett I didn't even pay. know that. Yeah, Brett I didn't did even pay know. for any of those fees. Um, and then, you know, I just, I just, it, something was. It just wasn't right. My body was rejecting the glass. Did it hurt? Yeah. Like if you touched it, was it like yes, sore? Yeah. Yes, yes. And then I think my body was rejecting the glass. And like if I positioned my arm a weird way, you could see it popping out from the front. Hmm. So I made an urgent care uh, reservation, whatever, appointment. And even the lady was like, holy shit, as she was taking it out. It's a big did, piece. Did you have to explain to her like, well. I did. I did. <laughs> um <laughs> And anyway, I sold it for a hundred bucks. Yeah, so, cha-ching. Uh, jokes on you, Brett. But tonight, big, big announcement. Not, I keep saying tonight. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, big, big announcement uh, in New York. I'm, I'm excited to go home. New York City. Daddy is home. So that's Friday. Uh, Friday, and then Saturday morning in, in Pennsylvania. I got RetroCon. Come meet me in the morning, and then at night, uh, three WA. I'm taking on Merrick, Miami. Uh, little Mark boy. Turns out he was a broski of the week in one of the later episodes. Okay. So this <laughs> is his funny. dream match. To me, it's just another booking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, he, he kept like tweeting me and sending videos and reaching out. I said, listen, if your promoter pads the lope, I'll come out and I'll, I'll radio silence your ass. I don't care. Right. Sure. You know, to Let's me, see it. To me, it's some shitty indie. To him, it's a dream match. But right. it is what it is. And Sunday, top secret major pod. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. Uh, Top secret major pod. Uh, I don't know. Big project. Bands getting project. back together. Yeah. 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 All right. For my follow up, not much. Only that uh, a lot of people were suggesting that here's the you, last week you said um, that Justin Roberts may have seen the most matches, at least top five. Yeah. A lot of people said maybe Tony Schimmel, maybe Lillian Garcia, maybe uh, Michael Cole, maybe JR. Those are possibles. So I wrote them down. You guys are right. I, Who knows? I, but see, a JR Michael Cole aren't there for live events. Big, so Lillian Garcia, deal. possibly. I don't know how long Tony Schimmel was the Schimmel, announcer. Yeah, Schimmel's a good one. Yep. Lillian's a good one. Um, you know, JR, of course, has seen many matches Michael Cole, but... Well, you know you know what's padding... Twice a week, maybe? Uh, you, you, these dark tapings are really padding uh, uh, our, our friend Justin Roberts' numbers. Yeah, listen, I didn't say he was number one. He's yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's all I have for the follow up. What what do you got? I no real follow up from me. Uh I'm just like looking through some some Twitter stuff right now. I mean, this was a big monumental week. If you were a Z trolling Allen Story fan, uh Zach Ryder fan, and it's crazy that, you know, I, I will say this. Uh Steve Parsons fifteen. He posted this. I want to plug it here. Uh we'll put up the graphic. Ten years since his great sign towards the peak of the Ryder Revolution. Matt Cardona was the biggest fan. Chant all night long in Cleveland when he and Hugh Jackman sent the crowd home happy. It's a nice big poster of him saying the real champ is here with the internet title. He's all decked out in the Broski shirt and the headband. 
Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it this episode. It was a, uh, if you're following the MC True Long Island story, the Matt Cardinal story, the Zach, whatever story you're following, this is a huge night in that story. All right. Well, uh, let's go to the broski of the week. But first, a little word from our sponsors. Major Pod Network has a new tag team partner, Paps Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases. Scratch that figure itch and scratch that PBR itch. Get your PBR beer, get your PBR hard coffee, and get your PBR stronger seltzer. 8%? If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use the hashtag Major PBR and post your pictures and videos of you Major marking out. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the new tag team champions of the world. Of the world! But we're definitely not getting any new figures from Mattel. The Broski of the Week. The Broski of the Week, all you got to do is uh, leave a review wherever you find your podcast, screenshot that review, go to Twitter, find the pinned tweet that's at the top of my Twitter, at the Matt Cardona, uh, quote tweet that, and in that quote tweet, put the screenshot of that review and use the hashtag Broski of the Week. If I read your review on air, you'll be the Broski of the Week. You will get this. Matt Cardona 8x10, available now on mattcardonamerch.com. You will get... The Broski of the Week headband. Look at this, baby. It's beautiful. Available on MattCardonaMerch.com. And you will get the Broski of the Week sticker. Not available anywhere. Exclusive mm. to be in the Broski of the Week. So That's that. Okay. So the Broski of the Week. Yes, I was going to say. Wait, did you do it? <laughs> did I miss it? <laughs> I did it. The Broski of the Week comes from at J Summers 330 So, Justin, you are the Broski of the Week. Uh... 2011 was a fun year, in my opinion. It was the year I got into podcasts, making podcasts, and expanding my horizons as a wrestling fan by going to independent shows to see who will be the next star coming up. At the beginning of it all was Z trolling on story. In between the show and his appearance on The Art of Wrestling, I instantly became a fan for life. Ten years ago today, I was at Raw wearing my broski shirt and broski headband while chanting, We Want Ryder, which was much louder in person than was heard on TV. This was the night Hugh Jackman was at Raw and picked Zach to face Dolph Ziggler. It is one of my favorite moments I've seen live for WWE TV. I was happy to be a part of the crowd, just as much as I am happy to relive 2011 with Matt and Mark every week. It's crazy to hear how things have changed in the last 10 years, but it's also awesome to see how this year changed lives of many fans as well as Matt's. This show is a must-listen to any fan that lived through the Ryder Revolution. Well, Justin, thank you very much. He also posted some pictures. Maybe we can pop them up now of an autograph and stuff he has him at the show him with the merch so justin you are the broski of the week congrats dude nice yeah text those to me right now um we're well we're going to talk about that by the way justin summers uh major mark uh friend of the show friend of the off the hop rope podcast justin you know what's coming up it is christmas ale season and i'm gonna need some of that okay Tweets, Matt Cardona says, I won on Raw, thanks to my new broski at Real Hugh Jackman. You got a picture? We'll talk about that later. Uh, Matt Cardona, some loser is trying to scam my broskies on eBay. These are not my sunglasses. And then you have a link to something that says Zack Ryder sunglasses. So even back in 2011, you're oh, having I hated that. eBay it was issues. also at that time period, and I still sign them to this day, bootleg woo-woo headbands. Hmm. So if you have a woo-woo headband, unless it was like ring-worn from me, it's fake. Um, the one that's out there, it's like a thicker headband. Yeah. So And it says woo-woo. It, it's actually like a good job, you know? Mm. It's like one that I wore. I think it's on my basic Mattel figure, the first one. But those weren't for sale, mm. and I didn't make them. I, I'm not – listen, I am, I'm, <laughs> I'm all for people making money. And starting little side businesses, but not if you're like ripping off other people. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Matt Cardona, I'm the best looking guy at the bar, and I didn't even get there yet. Woo, woo, woo! You know it. Um, this is right around the time I've noticed a couple of these tweets. 
you say, I will be the most followed at WWE Superstar on Twitter. So you're saying these things. And then you would like pick the person ahead of you yep. and call them out and then try to pass them. So you say, at Maurice Wallet will be the next one I pass. <laughs> so you're. Great. So I've noticed that you're doing this. So you're going to okay. keep that going. And it's cool because hey, it gives. That. Figure fate. Look who's calling. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up, dude? What'd you think? Oh, I thought you did great, bro. Everybody, uh, I'm recording my podcast right now, Miss. You're on it. <laughs> you are? I am? Okay, great. What'd you think? I thought you did Go great. Ahead, give me, give me. I thought you did great, bud. I think you're going to win the whole thing. No, I didn't watch. I was I was recording my other podcast. No, I didn't watch the whole show, but I watched uh, your dance. I, I was very very impressed, and I tweeted about it. I posted about it. I want you to win, baby. I, I want to win too. Don't don't call me baby. But <laughs> no, I want to win as well. But I'm I'm looking to you to look at everybody else to see where where I my playing field is because you're very honest and mean. And so, uh, I always look to you for the rude mean comments. Uh, so, but I'm shocked that you're actually uh, applauding them. I, I will go back. I mean, you know I'm a David Silver guy. You know I'm a Karate Kid guy. So I'll go and I'll watch those. And I'll give you my honest critiques. But from what I saw, I was I was blown away. And I've never seen the show before. I was like, Chelsea, how long has he had to prepare for this? She said not long. Ten days. Ten days. Dude, you got some moves, bro. <laughs> you do. Yeah, well, I, I, I got to get better. I know that for sure. And I'm going to work my butt off to do that. Well, if you ever need me and Chelsea sitting in front row cheering you on, we'll be there. Actually, we we're just talking about your wife. <laughs> were you really? What are you talking about her about? Oh, because we're, we're we're talking about like the the old podcast and how I was trying to get more Twitter followers than her, and then and then you just called. It was it was fate. It was fate. There it is. It is fate. All right, man. Have a great podcast. Uh, and uh, let me know uh, anytime that you have any feedback, uh, constructive criticism. Oh, love. for sure, dude. All right, bud. See you later. <laughs> later. later. Look at that. Love the Miz. What a guy. Everybody, vote for The Miz on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> That's so cool. I completely forgot. I got to watch it. I got to yeah, figure out how to watch really it. Good. All right. Um, so, yeah, and I, you know, eventually I beat his wife. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, last one. At CM Punk, my first ever broski of the week. I want you on the show ASAP. I am serious, bro. So we'll see if he's CM Punk on. ever comes back. Actually, yeah, I know. he's on. He is on, but not like in a backstage skit. He is on eventually. Okay, we'll see. All right, matches. Only got one. Three minutes and six seconds at the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, Monday Night Raw. Zack Ryder defeats Z Dolph Ziggler. Good match to have. Yes. Um, next week you have a bunch. So, okay. In the WWE, September 19th, like I said, that's Raw. USA Network celebrity guest Hugh Jackman found an underdog to champion him in the form of Long Island IC Zack Ryder. The Hollywood heavyweight successfully led the self-proclaimed internet champion to a win over U.S. champion Dolph Ziggler in a non-title match. During the bout, the Academy Award show host clocked Ziggler in the face when the referee was busy reprimanding Vicky, which led to a win for Ryder. After the match, Vicky stormed up the entrance ramp as Ryder and Jackman celebrated. All right. Bef before we get into the show, let let's just let's just talk about it right now. How does this happen? How early do you know about this? Let's say that that's the first question. I, honestly, I, I cannot recall how early I knew about it. Maybe the day before. Okay. Um, I believe he's promoting some sort of like robot movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's that fighter rob. It's the robot yeah. fighter movie. Yes. Um, and listen, he <laughs> he's like an ex boxer. Yeah. Who's and now? So I guess like doing they the needed an underdog, and who's a better underdog than me? So it was like right place, right time. Especially, not just having the match on Raw, but the story, the ride of revolution, where we were going with everything, it all kind of clicked. It, it just fell into place. It was almost like it was all supposed to happen that way. Right. Um, especially with the Ziggler rider stuff. That's where it really begins. Something, you know, and then we continue with our show. We go really the whole fall with it uh, into December. So, um, right. Okay. Yeah. So now, does he get the spot? It's his. He's. It's his hometown, right? Or I don't think close that's why to he it. Got the spot. 
You know? Right. Okay. Okay. Um, well, they yeah. they say that uh, they say that Vince loves to be people in their hometown. So, but he doesn't like. You know, he is from Cleveland, but right. He's not, okay. The fans don't really know that. You know, because right. they say okay. Hollywood, Florida. All right. Now, how does how does this thing come together? Like, first of all, how's Hugh? Oh, bro, could not have been cooler. Super cool guy. Um, you know, I, I kind of tell him like the backstory of what's been going on. He offers to do the intro to the show or he offers to be on the show. So I'm like, oh, well, can you do the intro? And like, yeah, can we play We Can we play the intro right now? Sure. Hey, fans of the Z True Long Island story. My name is Hugh Jackman and Zach's going to be with you in just a minute. Don't worry, fans. But I'm here to tell you I'm his manager now. All right. I'm here. I'm in his corner. It's enough of the disrespect. The disrespect is going to stop because Zach is going right to the top. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. Come on, Zach. So, I mean, like, you can't get any cooler than that. Right, you know? right, right. Getting the uh, the stamp of approval from, from Wolverine. Now, they this is the era where you're getting these guest hosts from time to time. Yeah, it's kind of like a little trade-off, like, well, I'm sure I don't know if he got money, but you know they promote the movie. Yes, and then Raw gets a celebrity. I actually liked it for the most part, but yeah. this is as a, is a in my opinion a list as they come. Yeah, right. Right. yeah, yeah. So that's huge. Hugh Jackman, hell of a star. You know, and, Marvel movies. And I was a huge fan of Hugh Jackman's. Um, I, I love like the X Men movie from two thousand. Yeah, is like one of my favorite superhero movies ever. Um, and okay. I, I, I love it. No, me too. Now, he is not standoffish at all about the match stuff, I'm asking. Bro, he was so great. Okay. Total pro throughout the day. Even sent me and Ziggler uh, some Foster's beers like the next week. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. So cool. Um, <laughs> it's really funny because he comes back, I want to say maybe like two years later. Yeah. Does a segment with Ziggler. Um he pretended or either remember me or pretended to remember me, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I bet you he did. Yeah. But uh so they're B rolling the footage of when he was here last time and they totally edit me out. It's like I didn't exist. <laughs> Even though it's my match. He's wearing like a broski headband. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ridiculous. It's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, so so you're working this match out and you get to this punch. That, is that the greatest celebrity punch of all time? I think it's got to be. He, he nailed Ziggler. Uh, you know, we were going over the match with Pat Patterson. This is a great picture. We can put it in right now with me, Hugh Jackman, Ziggler, Vicky, and uh, Pat Patterson. Okay. You know, we were just like, <laughs> holy this match, crap. Yeah. Putting it together. It was just, it was a great day. You know, so he's running through this punch. He's never done a working punch before. And this they is just not a working punch, baby. Oh no! Okay, no, no wonder why it looks so good. Yeah, okay, box them. But you right. got to, you got to, you know, especially in that situation. It's it's not it's not Hollywood. It's it's one take. It's live. You got to connect. And Ziggler, Ziggler knew that. You know, Ziggler yeah. told him to lay it in. Whew, man, it looked so good. I remember watching that and being like, "Wow!" And and yeah. man, a celebrity doing something that like comes off authentic and great in wrestling like it's almost like you can't top it like right. when a sl- like when bad bunny comes in and does a sick ass match on wrestlemania it's like that's all people want to talk about yeah so I, i've been very fortunate in my career uh in wwe to do a couple of celebrity things but hugh jackman was awesome and i was a huge fan of hugh so it was super cool and yeah. then i did the entourage thing years later right and they were super cool and i love entourage you know so that was really 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 fun i, I was fortunate to do both of those things all right, cool. So we have uh, a know your bro question. I'll ask at the end that that uh, kind of has to do with that. So we'll we'll continue that a little later. All right, let's get an episode thirty one. Like you said, it starts with Hugh Jackman. He does the opening, really cool. Um, and then you go to your, a new set. You're at your house, but it's Finally you know this giant ass poster. Yeah, perfect. Where did you get yeah. that? Did you ma- did you make that or is that like something no, they're selling? It was on like one of the uh, WWE like I forget what it, it wasn't. On the shop, it was like a creation section of the shop where you can make like mugs or something. Oh, like cool! That. Yeah, 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 perfect. It was giant, and I kept it up the whole time. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, like all, every day. Every day, I didn't have to, like I didn't take it down. I got it. <laughs> all right, so then you kind of switch 
now you're woo woo Wolverine for the That's whole right. show. I bought a Wolverine Halloween costume. It's uh, September. Halloween stores are open, yeah. I guess. So. Um, and I returned it afterwards. <laughs> really? Oh, man. Now you could sell it. Holy, actually, dude, let's take a second here. How much do you think the the Zack Ryder Warren episode 32 Wolverine costume could sell for now? I got a, another question. How much do you think the sign of the week, which is the Ryder is greater than Wolverine sign right. could sell for? Because I have it signed by Hugh Jackman. Stop! Yeah. Should, take, <laughs> should I post a picture? Put a picture of that in right now. Oh, my God. That yeah. is freaking awesome. Yeah. Holy yeah. crap. I don't even know. I don't. I don't even recall how I got that back. First of all, I don't think he realizes that it says Ryder is greater. Than Wolverine. <laughs> that he's, he's holding it up. You know? He's building his buddy up. That's yeah, what he's Ryder doing. Ryder is greater than Wolverine. Uh, oh, but man. what was really cool about that night, and now I just started to remember it. He's cutting this promo with Ziggler and talking about an underdog, mm. and the fans start organically chanting, "We want Ryder," you know. Mm-hmm. And he goes and gets the sign. Like, obviously, he knew it was going to be me, but the audience didn't know. It wasn't promoted. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Working on the fly. Yeah. (laughs) So the fans, but like, what if the the fans were chanting, we want Darren Young, or we want Hawkins, but that's why it was just a a perfect, perfect uh, angle, because... I hate to say I was so over, but I was. And the people right. wanted it. And he was talking about underdogs. And that's what the, the story of the movie was. And it was just, oh, it was so perfect. Under Yeah. Well, you're yeah, underdog over for sure. Yeah. All right. So that's the sign of the week. Really funny. <clears throat> so then you go, uh, you ask Regal to be on the show, but he turns up his nose. Yeah, anything I mean, anything listen, with that? This was Regal wanted to be on the show. And how do you not have Regal on the show? You know, Regal's right. Regal. Right. And even if it's like a... a a five-second segment, whatever, he's on. More star power. All right, so the broski of the week, obviously, Hugh Jackman. He gets you a match on Raw and helps you win, so he's definitely that. So then you kind of go through the whole thing. Uh, I, play, I play the backstage segment. Great. I play the, the finish of the match. Um, so he's wearing a headband, which is super cool. Vicky gets thrown out. Jackman punches him. You hit a Rough Rider, which is phenomenal Rough Rider. Yeah, well, Ziggler always took that as a pro. Yeah. So then you, so you, so we talked about the match and all that stuff. You get to the back. Are people like, cool, see you later? Or are they like, great job, this is awesome? Oh, of course, because because Hughes involved, so they're making it seem like. It, first of all, it was a, it was great. It was yeah. great business. Yeah. You know, people still talk about it a decade later. Yes. Um. So of course, like the everyone's super into it. Probably like I like I said, maybe I'm biased, but probably one of the best celebrity things in wrestling. Right. As far as like start to finish, organic, what was right, all great. Um, all right. Before we move on from Hugh Jackman, anything left? Anything that you can think of that we are leaving just, on the you table? Know, I, I just can't reiterate enough how super cool he was. You know, right. just hanging out in the back. Uh, you know, I was a little intimidated doing that backstage segment with him because, like, he's a real actor, <laughs> not an actor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, but it, it was easy. It worked. Got the point across. Um, and even like the reveal, like he, he's talking me up, you know, saying like, I'm not used. Uh, you know, I made up my own championship. Like it was great. You know, yeah, he was, calls you just, pathetic. But yeah, then you're like, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's great. Fine. Um, it was just a, a great, great night for sure. Good dude. Um, all right. Are you serious, bro? Is somebody's tweeted. He's on Raw and SmackDown, has new gear and is friends with Wolverine. Princess Leia must be asking herself, are you serious, bro? <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, I did I did actually write this down. I forgot to ask. The gear's pretty cool that you wore for that match. Is that something special? You just happen to have new gear for it? I think I just uh, happen to have new gear for that night. I, I was always a fan of like the splatter. Pay- people think I'm like paying homage like the Nasty Boys. Like I guess kind of, but I, right. that's not the, like, what I'm going for. I think it looks great. And I just happened to have new gear that night. So it was like perfect. Is is it unheard of? And now we've talked about this a million times, so I'm I'm drawing a blank. Would you get something real sick and just kind of hold on to it for the possibility of something huge like this? Like you're not gonna bust it out for a superstars match, but just yeah, in case. Right. I do that all the time. There's still there's still gear that I'm that I got like 2000, I think 15 or 16 that I haven't worn yet. <laughs> okay, all right. 
So yes, the answer is yes. yes. The answer is yes. But you got to be always ready, especially because, listen, I might get some heat for saying this, but like gear people aren't the most reliable, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, oh, yeah. But then also you can't expect them to have something ready. If they tell you next week you're at this huge ass spot oh, on Raw. God, no way. Yeah. So yeah. you got to have uh, something in the back pocket. Yep. Smart. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> no ass the heel this week. Dolph is pissed off. Pretty and, self-explanatory. And we turn this into a little angle that is on television and on the show. So right. uh, it was great because if you're a fan of Zack Ryder, I would guess you're watching the show, the YouTube show. Mm-hmm. So not only was WWE doing something with me and Ziggler on the show, we were also continuing it on social media and on Z Trilling on Story. Right. So it made it feel more special. Oh, hell yeah. And, you know, hey, to be honest, and I've said this before, uh, you paved the way for a lot of these internet shows today that are pushing along television storylines. Right. It's not the only way that you can get the storyline, but it certainly adds to, oh yeah, you know, Hangman, Kenny, uh, Kenny Omega storylines, things like that. Uh, all right. You then film a pull apart on Raw. You're, you're yeah. just there filming it. Oh, my God, that's happening. I don't. I forget who who it is in there. It looks like it's Truth. I can't. Truth, and I couldn't figure out who he was fighting. Yeah. Um, but I bet you, I, if we watched Raw, we would know. I want to say somebody told me to do it. It makes total sense. I'm yeah. thinking like, what's he doing? But if Zack Ryder was yeah at, in in the middle of a fight, you would probably whip out the right. um thing. Yeah. Film it. Makes total sense. And then if you're on Raw, you see you in the background like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. All right, this was like I'm like okay, this shit, this episode's great already. There's, you don't need to do anything else. Then you pull out ZTV Cribs. Oh yeah, baby. So this is a Cribs um, thing that just keeps going and going, which is it is all really good stuff. First, you show your figs. You have a custom Hasbro. I noticed. What is that? I still, I still have it to this day. It's a, uh, I believe it's a El Matador. Uh, you know, modified. You look great. You show uh, your what's that? I was gonna say first. I have the the Zack Ryder eight by ten on the door. Oh yeah. <laughs> you show your three D TV and your 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 title. Do you still own a three D TV? I do not. Those things really did not work out. Yeah, I do have that tag team title though, still uh, in that shadow box. But um, it's in my office. I'm looking at it right now. But then I have all the other titles just hanging down underneath. I can't shadow box every title. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I have so, I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> you show your view from the balcony we're out really nice oh i love that beach uh i, I love li- living in long beach it, w- it was great uh summer was insane there was always something to do everybody always wanted to come down to long beach whether it be hang out on the beach go out to the bars at night but like fall like mid fall to mid spring it was ghost, like town. ghost town and nobody wanted to come uh, so it was kind of like sometimes it's like borderline depressing living there. I, I, yeah, 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 I can see that for sure. <clears throat> you show your bedroom. Uh, you say nothing happens there. Psych. You show your bathroom. This is the funniest part. You open your uh, your mirror and you have just like nine diff- tanners and then all your gel. Is that oh, yeah. was that shoot or you you put that together? Uh, you know, it was a little like it was shoot like I had it, but I filled it up for the shot. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then I had in my bed in my bedroom I had the closet of all Broski shirts. I, I mentioned uh, a couple weeks ago that uh, we had to take the take care of spike your hair off the back. Right. Place with all your serious bro. So WWE just gave me all the shirts that were at the venue uh, that night. So I had like shirts in like every size. <laughs> I literally had a whole closet, and Chipetta would use those shirts uh, <laughs> to wear every single day. Right. Speaking of Chipetta, you showed the set, which is cool. Did you have two flip cameras at this point? Like how were you filming and then yeah, also so showing one the film? Was my original flip camera and then like Chipetta, like before I ever started Z Trolling on Story was gonna do some sort of like political like YouTube show. Okay. So he had a flip camera that he gave to me. So I did have two, yes. Got it. And yes, that was his legit bedroom. Yeah. Was you a, show that. A, a twin size mattress on the floor in my dining room. <laughs> that was legit. <laughs> Uh, then you go to the fridge. It's full of Bud Light Lime. Now, that's not shoot, but what no, would you no. just go buy a bunch and put them all oh, yeah. in the fr- yeah, yeah, okay. And then it became shoot. 
Yeah, right. Became sure. So then you finish up. You say, Princess Leia, if you're watching, mail me my HDMI cable. Uh, now, I remember this being like a running joke. Was this the first time you brought this up? It might have been. Okay. It might have been. <laughs> it was, um, did she really steal your HDMI cable? <laughs> um, I think she did, but like by accident, maybe. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But I made it a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so great little segment. I loved it. Bunch of jokes. It just kept going. Um, I was surprised. So much he, purple in there. What's that? So much purple. Right. Like bedroom, purple bathroom. Uh, I didn't. Well, I'm colorblind, so I didn't even notice. Uh, you close out the show. You're in the Wolverine costume, but you're wearing the Zack Ryder shirt, the headband, oh, yeah, and the glasses. It. It. So it was perfect. Great episode, man. Yeah, and at the end, I have a nice little picture of me and Hugh for my, uh, oh, my cell phone, I guess. I missed that. Cool. All right. Yeah, cool guy. Can't, can't uh, reiterate that enough. All right. Well, before we close out the show, let's hear a little word from our sponsors. And we're back. All right. Do you have an Are You Serious Bro for the week? Are you serious, bro? Yeah, this one was pretty cool. Uh, this one, if you use the hashtag Are You Serious Bro and I read it on air, you will get an 8 by 10 This comes from at PW Hot Takes. Jade Cargill Stan account, actually, is the name of their account. Oh. Uh, a hill I'm willing to die on. At the Matt Cardona is the most underappreciated wrestler in the business. Hashtag Are You Serious Bro. I had to pick that one. That's oh, great. great. Yeah, That's and I like the uh, fan of fan of the hashtag Jade brand, so thank you. All right, the Know Your Bro question. Ask a question on Twitter. I will pick it and ask Broski. Use the hashtag Know Your Bro. You get an 8x10 Macho Mandalorian, at Macho Mandalorian, who's won this probably four times already. <laughs> uh, he says, what was your favorite segment you got to do with a celebrity during the Z True Long Island Story era? Got to be Wolverine, right? That's what he says. I don't think I did anything else with a celebrity during the Z Trolling Out Story era. Well, what if we just open it up then? Oh, I guess I did something with Rob Dyrdek. Oh, oh yeah, 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 true. Um, but then you got the Entourage. Did the you entourage. do anything with the Muppets? The Muppets do like say woo, you know it, but like I'm not involved. Okay, that's cool. Um, I did something with Balls, Balls, Buzz Aldrin. Okay. Um, and I think like maybe like. I did somewhere like Ashton Kutcher was on the screen, but he wasn't actually there. Um, I did some with Johnny Knoxville, the big jackass hand. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, obviously my favorite ones, I think it's a, an even tie between the Wolverine and the and Entourage. Uh, the Entourage. Because Entourage, I, God damn, I love that show. Me too. I think uh, I've watched it three times. It's so good. It's so good. And I love their podcast, Victory the Pod, which kind of, you know, was yeah the idea to start this. Yeah, um, you yeah. got to go on that one. I think, right? They were talking to you early. Yeah, we we discussed it. Um, they actually, um, I just need to get to LA. I think they want to do it more in person. All right, which I would prefer to do as well. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. All right, let's get Broski on that show. Yeah. All right, <laughs> characters debuted. Hugh Jackman, big one. It's a, it's a big one. Returning, Chiapetta and Regal. This episode, two hundred fifty-four thousand three hundred. 732, and it's one of the longest episodes. Six minutes and 38 seconds. Uh, loved it. Great job. Today I'm wearing the uh, do, 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 do shirt uh, from our Pro Wrestling Tees. Mm. You can get that at Major Wrestling Figure, at Pro Wrestling Tees.com slash Major WF Pod. There's shirts for this store. Make sure you check out Pro Wrestling Tees.com slash Matt Cardona and Pro Wrestling Tees.com slash Smart Mark Sterling for our stuff. And let me just pitch, FWF just went up today as we record it. So it's up this week on our Patreon, patreon.com slash majorwfpod. Myself and Broski are rebooking the Attitude Era in pay-per-view form each month. We had a great time doing it this month. Um, so check that out, nine ninety nine and up will get you the FWF, the Figure Wrestling Federation. What do you have to plug, Broski? Uh, well, also on the Patreon, you'll get this early and ad-free. Uh, MattCardonaMerch.com. So much cool stuff up there. If you ordered that GCW bloody plaque, uh, they are shipping, so you should get it if you don't have it by now. Um, 
Major Wrestling Podcast Live 10, Las Vegas, Nevada, October 22nd. We just announced that anybody who buys a ticket, whether it be general admission or VIP, will get tickets to the Impact TV tapings, which will be two days later in Vegas. Um, and if you stay after the show, Brian Myers and I will take pictures with you on the Impact ramp. So I think that's pretty damn cool. Perfect. And two people at our live show will win tickets to Bound for Glory, which is huge. And if you're a card collector, uh, tomorrow at noon, 11.30 a.m. for Patreon members, the Major Pod Network trading cards will be for sale, uh, all autographed. These resemble the 1999 WCW Tops cards. There are 15 cards in the set. Uh, these will be sold in packs of five, completely random, and there are 450 packs available. So... Uh, it's going to be pure chaos trying to collect these because the majority of the cards are all numbered differently. You know, like me, I think me and Brian have the most and I'm not going to say who that's another thing. It's all kind of surprise. Who's in these, these sets. Oh, there's Mark. There's, I have mine right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, nice looking card. It, oh, they're beautiful. And the whole set together is, is fantastic. So yeah, just a big weekend for me. GCW tomorrow, retro con, uh, Merrick, Miami going to kick his ass. And then the the major pod um, project secret project, and I just got a, a text right now from from Johnny Clash, sending us. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to send us the FWF two uh, poster updated poster. That's coming up in November, where I will take on the Big O in a Long Island street fight. So, also speaking of all this stuff, I I am I will be up in uh, Yarmouth, Maine on Saturday night. Um, I have been asked, or I've asked to give me. A live microphone. Oh no! And I am not coming alone. So limitless wrestling, Yarmouth, Maine, Saturday night. I'll be there. All right, guys. Well, uh, you know, like me on Facebook. I'm trying to get that worked out. Oh my god, there's so much social media now. Instagram, follow me there. Uh, Twitter, uh, like this video on YouTube. Go back, please, guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Uh, subscribe to this podcast. Listen to the other podcasts on the Major Pod Network and drink some PBR. I mean, that's the most important thing, right? And take care. Spike your hair. And does anyone know who Effie is? I have no idea. Neither do I. Just take care.